The 1955 Palomino, made by Century, is finished. We've finished the restoration of the hull. We have only to hang the uh, brilliant white and gold Johnson 35 horsepower outboard on her transom, and then it'll be time to take her out for her sea trials on Lake Champlain. She came out just beautifully. Uh, the Avidair decks complement the teeny trailer just beautifully. The OEM windshield. The Palomino had a very distinctive windshield and I dare say 90% of the Palominos you see have some kind of aftermarket plexiglass windshield, not the original green windshield with the heavy chrome frame over, over her top. And the telltale sign, if you've got one, is that she's going to have spade feet at the end of the windshield frame on each side and she will have three mounting legs that are mounted through grommets along the bottom of the windshield to keep it in place. We originally characterized this Palomino is a 1957, largely because her hull number starts in 57. But then I found a, a pile of paperwork under one of the seats that included the original title. The original title identifies her as a 1955 Palomino, which would mean she has to be one of the very early production runs of this rather incredible little outboard. All of the Avadir decking both aft and on her foredeck are original. The seats were reupholstered but all the seat frames are original. The ceilings are original. Yes, they were reupholstered. Re but they are original. All of the bright work is done in 16 coats of Epiphane's clear gloss. The air guide Speedo is original. Wheel is original. All the knobs. Then of course we have this beautiful green OEM windshield. She's really quite a stunning little boat. And as soon as we finish doing some mechanical work on the engine, the solenoid and a couple of other items, it will be hung off the transom and the little Palomino will ride her teeny trailer down to Lake Champlain where we'll be doing some sea trials and this time we're going to take a little different uh, tack by having a sister boat be available alongside so that we can actually taper running through the water rather than out of the cockpit which is not terribly satisfying. Her trailer's been totally restored by Roger R.J. Toll, totally disassembled, sandblasted, and repainted in original teeny chrome yellow. You never miss one of these trailers running down the road. As with the trailer under our Cadillac Seville, she is riding on white wall tires, Cooper white wall tires, and NOS Baby Moon hubcaps. Just a beautiful boat. She will be for sale, of course. I can't keep every one of these incredible boats we have been blessed to have the privilege of restoring.